My name is Bruno, your official English teacher, and this is your official English learning channel. Alright? So, uh, today's video, we're going to talk about some phrasal verbs that we use when we're speaking about studying or we use inside of the classroom. So, uh, let's quit beating around the bush and get it cracking. First phrasal verb, read up on. Read up on is a phrasal verb that we use when we're trying to say that we are going to do some research about something. For example, I'm going to read up on all the places I can go visit on my trip to New York City. I am going to read up on the present perfect tense so I can get a good grade on my test. Next, read over. Read over, guys, is uh, when you're going to read what you have written very carefully and check out all of the details, all right? So I'm going to give you some examples. It's very important for you to read over your texts after you finish. The job of a proofreader is to read over your text and check to see if there are any mistakes. Next, cross out. Cross out is pretty simple, guys. You're going to put an X or you're going to put a mark on something, maybe a line through it. Uh, anything that is, for example, incorrect, or in many cases that you have already done and you don't want to get confused and do it again. I'm going to give you some examples. Mary crossed out all of the answers that she got wrong. After I finished doing my tasks, I crossed them out of my to-do list. Next, throw away. Throw away is to get rid of anything that you don't want anymore. For example, put it in the garbage. Throw away can also mean to waste something, such as an opportunity or an advantage. I'm going to give you some examples of both uses. I threw away all of my son's broken toy. You spent three years working hard in college. Don't throw that all away by not taking your final exam. Next, write down. Write down is pretty simple, guys. It's basically you're going to write something on a piece of paper. Example. Write down seven words that describe how you feel. As soon as you have an idea, write it down so you don't forget. Handout. Handout is to give something to each person in a group. For example, I'm in the classroom and I've just printed some worksheets for everyone. So I'm going to go around the classroom and I'm going to hand out these worksheets to each of my students. Example. The teacher handed out the test to everyone before class began. Before I start my presentation, I like to hand out an outline to all of my classmates. Next, hand in or turn in. Basically, it's to submit something. So for example, I would say to all of my students, please hand in the test after you're finished with it. Or I would say, did you hand in the homework to the substitute teacher yesterday? A student can say, oh, teacher, I forgot to turn in the homework yesterday. Can I give it to you now? Next, makeup. I know everyone hears makeup and they think about, you know, the, the stuff that you put on people's faces, like to change their complexion or something like that. But makeup can also be used to do something in a different date that was originally planned. For example, you missed a test. You can make up the test after class. I'm going to give you some more examples. I was sick on Monday, so I made up the test on Tuesday. You cannot make up the listening exam, so it's important you're here to take the test. I missed the final exam because I slept late. Can I make it up next class? Alright guys, that's it for today. Those are just some quick phrasal verbs that you can use in your classroom or when you're talking about studying. Uh, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel so I can keep making these helpful videos for all of y'all, okay? And uh, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if there are any other ideas or doubts that you may have and you want me to produce uh, a video talking about that specific subject. I would be very, very happy to hear from you guys, all right? And uh, keep an eye out on Skynet English for any new videos. Make sure you click the bell button so you can be notified every time we drop a new vid on this channel. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.